Well, um, thank you all for coming today. My name is Shane Evans. I'm the principal here at Home Connection. And these seven lovely people are the reason we're here. Please, throughout the ceremony, don't hesitate to stand up, get closer. A moment of embarrassment for you is good for them, too. So, um, I want to just say thank you again for coming. I'm going to give you some statistics here real quick to welcome you. This is our 25th year as, as Home Connection. Um, we've been doing this now for 25 years. I've been here for eight, and some of us that are in the room might have been here for that entire time, so that's exciting. Um, we didn't have a graduate at Oak Harbor, excuse me, we didn't have a graduate at Home Connection until 2008. Um, and that's when they first started with high school. And since that time, the first time, um, each Home Connection diploma was given in 2012. And to date, including all those that have earned associate's degrees at Skagit Valley College and diplomas, we've had 187 graduates. And with today's eight graduates, seven graduates that are here today, and all the graduates total, we have 19 total that have earned a Home Connection diploma in the time that we've been handing them out since 2012. So that's really exciting, and we're here to celebrate them once again. And so, so I'm going to do a lot of talking today, so I'm going to step aside for a second, and there's going to be a poem read by Mrs. Webster. So I get the task each year, and it's actually not just a task, it's a pleasure and it's an honor to talk about and give these young people a kind of sending um, at graduation. It was an hour, I knocked it down to 10 minutes, you're welcome. Um, no, I don't think I've ever spoken that long, except for when I have to. So I got to thinking about what to talk about, there's seven of you today, and you know, I, I did the traditional look at all the quotes and all the things that are supposed to be inspirational right now, and what kept ringing in my head as I was doing that was, you know Charlie Brown and how he, he hears adults? <laughs> wah, 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 wah. And I thought, nah, that's what that's going to sound like if I do that. So I decided not to do that. Um, and I was thinking that, you may not know this, but if you all have been here, the whole time that I've been here, we met roughly when you're in fifth grade, depending on when you were here. Um, so I've had the pleasure of seeing them grow from 10 year olds, 11 year olds, 
to where they are today. Um, and it's been my pleasure to do that. And you have um, since done whatever it is you need to do to make it here today, the last 13, you know, the last 13 years of your education in kindergarten to now. So congratulations on that. And as I started to think about pushing you out into the world, like your family's gonna do too, um, I was trying to find some inspiration and I ran across a poem in Shel Silverstein's book of poems um, where the sidewalk ends. And so that's how I'm gonna talk to you today. I'm gonna read the poem and I'm gonna give you some insight from, from what I see. It's called The Little Blue Engine. The little blue engine looked up at the hill. His light was weak, his whistle was shrill. He was tired and small, and the hill was tall. And his face blushed red as he softly said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. To get to today, you had some hills to climb, and you probably had some valleys to navigate. But here you are. And why? Because you believed you could do it. So he started up with a chug and a strain, and he puffed and he pulled with might and main. And slowly he climbed a foot at a time, and this engine, and his engine coughed as he whispered soft, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. With each challenge that you've experienced so far in your life, you've chugged and puffed, pulled and strained. You're here because you kept going. With a squeak and a creak and a toot and a sigh, with an extra hope and an extra try, he would not stop. Now he neared the top, and strong and proud, he cried out loud, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. He was almost there when, crash, smash, bash, he slid down and mashed into engine hash. On the rocks below, which goes to show, if the track is tough and the hill is rough, thinking you can just ain't enough. Unfortunately, thinking you can isn't enough. It's important that you believe in yourself and say to yourself, I think I can, and have that humble confidence for what's about to come. But it's going to take work, probably hard work, to reach your dreams. Achieving your goals requires belief, effort, and you have to keep chugging. The one thing the little engine didn't do that I'm going to encourage you to do is when it gets that tough and you're almost to the top of that hill, before you crash, smash, and bash, ask for help. Because you're going to need help. Look out there. Don't look at me. Look out there. Who do you see? Make eye contact with someone that's here with you today. Think of someone who may not have been able to make it here today that you know, without a doubt, will help you no matter what. So when things get hard, please do not be afraid to ask for help. You've got dreams that you want to go and reach and do. In a minute, I'm going to ask you what they are. Hopefully you had plenty of time in the five minutes before we prepare today to come up with an answer. But what I can tell you is from the people that are in this room, from all the teachers that have had you since you were in kindergarten, me, your parents, your siblings, we know you can do whatever you decide to do next. Now it's up to you to think you can and work to make that happen. Congratulations. So now I'm gonna do the fun part. Um, we're gonna have the graduates get their diplomas, certificates. Now, here's the part of the program where, please, we're going to do a photo op for you. There's only seven of them. And even if we take a few minutes each, we're still done quickly. So we're going to have them come get their, their materials, and, and we're going to announce some things. I'm going to ask them a question. They're going to get their, their diploma. They're going to stand in the middle of the stage. That is your cue, parents. 
families to stand up and take as many pictures as you need, and then we'll get to the next one, okay? Questions? It's like we rehearsed it, because we did. All right, here we go. So, first one, Micah Brulin. We rehearsed a lot. Um, Micah Berlin is graduating with honors with a 3.99 GPA. And he's going to get his Associates of Arts direct transfer in his Washington High School diploma. And his future plans are to finish a degree in computer science. But the question is, and there's the mic, what are your future dreams? Hopefully, to earn enough money as a computer scientist to buy a log cabin out in the middle of nowhere in the mountains and just go fishing. Good luck. <laughs> This is the photo time. You can come as close as you'd like. Morgan Root. 
GPA and with an Associate of Arts and General Studies and a Washington State High School diploma, future plans are to attend Washington State University. Go but what is the dream? Um, <laughs> well, I've had a lot of inspiration from my own teachers who uh, supported me when I needed it. So I plan to be an English teacher. That's, that's Woo! Pacific University. I'm coming for my Vis Dean clinical psychology, so I'll do this a lot more times. Oh, Thank you. 